Hey guys, before I start this video, very quick message. I know that a uh, lot of you guys, after you have done watching the video, you still have some question unanswered or if you need a help with the admission process in this particular university for this particular course, I can definitely contribute on that side. What you have to do is simply go on to www.nikshala.com, book an appointment. Let's get on a call for 30 minutes to 45 minutes. I'm pretty sure we will be able to answer all your questions. Alright guys, welcome back once again. So I'm sitting here with uh, Rohit. He is studying here in uh, KIT Masters in Mechanical Engineering. One of the most demanding course across Germany and uh, what Germany is actually known for. However, uh, let's start with your quick introduction. Uh, tell us what was your profile like before you applied here in KIT? Uh, so hi everyone. I am doing a Masters in Mechanical Engineering. This is my first semester in KIT and I am in KIT for the past four to five months and I have done my bachelor's in mechanical engineering and I passed out in 2016 and according to my profile my CGPA was 8.65 mm -hmm. CGPA and that made me land in Germany and that too in a most renowned university KIT which comes under the T9 banner. Uh, mm -hmm. So yes. Uh, about my work experience I was working uh, in the automotive manufacturer for three years mm -hmm. um, and my designation was like an assistant manager okay. so I decided to start my masters after three years I should do something regarding my passion so I just came and jumped into the German university universities applied for a few and mm -hmm. fortunately I got this you cried the best one hopefully <laughs> yes <laughs> right we'll see once you you complete the course I'll let you know definitely right. and you too guys. Right, right. Thank you so much for the introduction. Let's move forward. But before we go ahead, what I've learned from the current students here that the selection process or the way they have come, like him, there are some minute changes which have been made in the requirements of the course. Right, requirement to be as a student from a Masters in Mechanical. Please check that direct on the website or directly with the team here in the administration. Here the focus right now is going to be more about how he came but uh, yeah major, major part of this video is still going to be applicable in your process also. Why don't we start with the documents what you collected to apply for this course? So yes I'll just give a quick wrap up about all the documents. I gave my bachelor transcripts and IELTS certificate and uh, the bachelor's uh, degree curriculum along with the all the set of documents. I guess I worked for three years so I just added my work experience along with it and I just sent it all the way from India. Which documents did you got attested? So I just got these attestations from the uh, embassy. I just went to embassy and I got the attestation done. And uh, before sending these documents, I just um, went to the KIT por portal and I logged in to myself and did the online application first. And after the confirmation, they just asked me the hard copies of it. So I just got the attestation and sent it to KIT. Uh, if I understand correctly, let me recap everything what yeah. you just said. So you collect the documents, step mm -hmm. number one. Step number two, what you said is, uh, before I send out these documents, mm -hmm. I go on the uh, KIT's portal. Mm -hmm. I fill out the application form, mm -hmm. take a printout, sign it, mm -hmm. add this document to step number one with the bunch of documents. Exactly. Step number three then becomes is to courier the whole bunch of documents straight to the KIT campus. Perfect. Perfect? Perfect, man. Let's move forward from here on. What kind of profiles can apply, as in the bachelors, can apply for this master's program for mechanical? So as far as I've seen this, I was the only one with the work experience of three years. Okay. And my German language was still an A1 level. Okay. So I guess that would have been, my work experience would have been an added advantage for it. So definitely they are considering the work, work experience and also, most importantly, KIT is considering the bachelor subjects, the curriculum that we take, the subjects should match with the, the master's program here. Oh, okay. so that means you might also have to send a course module. Definitely, yes. Right, and you can easily get that from your university. Look which ones are the relevant ones because you can't send like 300 pages uh, across. So uh, just pick up the relevant ones, take a PDF of it, and then send it across. Yeah. With the bunch of documents? With the bunch of documents, yes. With the step number one, what we discussed. If I've done anything apart from mechanical engineering, can I still be accepted for this course? I guess not, because I just mentioned that they are just looking into the curriculum and all the course oh modules. Yes, of it. Makes sense. <laughs> so yes, and from my batch, everyone are from uh, mechanical engineering bachelor's background. All of them. So yeah. All of them. Yes. So what is the class strength? 
So it's like uh, the curriculum is like from India. There are around like seven to eight members. Okay. So okay. and overall like mixed of like thirty to forty members. Thirty to forty members. Can you uh, tell me what specialization you have when you take this master's mechanical? Okay. So there are like around eight specializations available in this master's in mechanical engineering. Like a few of them are available in English, and you have to select the subjects that are in English. And you can also take subjects that are in German and give the exam in English. So that option is also available in K. Okay. That's also flexible. That you are, you have a little bit wider range of uh, selection in the subjects. Okay. So I'll come up with the specializations available in this uh, mechanical engineering, energy management, mm -hmm. and vehicle technology. Production technology and like a few general mechanical engineering, which covers all these specializations. You can just choose and choose the subjects uh, related to it, and uh, two or three subjects relevant to uh, the mechanical engineering background. Okay, okay. Which one are you going to take? So I'm. Go I have already chosen my specialization as vehicle technology. Vehicle. Technology. What do you want to do with it? Like after you so graduate. I was working with the automotive manufacturer for three years. So <laughs> since because of that, I just chose this vehicle, vehicle technology specialization, and based on that, I'm gonna apply for the manufacturers here. Do you think to get into your course, grades matter a lot? I guess yes. Since it has backed its T9 position again in this two years, so it's definitely for concentrating on the grades. It is better to have a grades above eight, and most of them eight CGP. I mean. So most of our batchmates are holding around an average of eight, between 7.8 to 8.2, 8.3. So okay. that's an average score that we have in our uh, batch, like this, in 2019 batch. If you have a less grades while watching, if you you crush many hearts right now, definitely by saying that. <laughs> oh okay. Uh, what I'm saying is, if you have less scores and if you still want to get into this university, no problem. Try to see uh, how can you build up your profile through different. Areas like doing more internships, publishing more papers, uh, maybe um, you know working on an external project. See how can you um, how can you get more LORs into into the whole system. So that's how uh, you know the weightage goes heavier. Definitely yes, and yeah. I would like to add the, about this work experience and the projects, and they are just reviewing all the resumes properly and looking at the internships and work experience certificates and based on this i guess if you have a le le less grades also you can just crack it up easily right right and don't hesitate to or don't make swift decision like damn this is such a top new university i am not going to get it apply and see what happens anyways you don't have to pay any money to apply yeah uh, only the courier charges right that's the only thing what you're doing otherwise everything is free this is not even through uniuses where you have to pay 75 or 30 euro any of those sort how do you see yourself after you graduate from kit kit is known for mechanical engineering and few of the bmw and audi board members are from my mechanical engineering background so they should take you <laughs> <laughs> hope so <laughs> so yes so um, based on this a strong uh, university and i guess i hope i get into a good um, company in germany okay okay do you speak german <laughs> a little bit i'm just learning a2 and most probably next semester i'll be doing a b1 and i'm still learning german side by side not okay. so proficient about it but yes at the end of two years maybe i can speak a little bit german that the company requires as i said in the beginning of the video the way his batch has come um, now for future batch they've made some changes they've done some addition in terms of requirements what are what is that to add upon the requirements and uh, based on our feedback that we gave and uh, now they have made a german language mandatory to level of b2 to uh, apply to apply okay. and you also have an additional option that if you don't have till b2 you can just apply to this university and come here and study till b2 finish up to B2 and then you can join in the summer semester that's an, ad an additional option given by KIT so you have oh. two options up available on the web portal whether either you can directly apply for this summer intake or you can just apply for six months for the language course and after that you can enter into the winter intake wow okay okay so it's like obviously you'll just skip a semester and then join right right see uh, the way I look at this whole thing is I think it has much more deeper meaning to us because some of your electives I guess uh, or, uh, are in German specializations specializations are in German so it'll be very easy and convenient uh, to to pick up when you are B2 level um, not everything definitely enough to clear the exams exactly yes you have 
and flexibility to give the exams in English also. In English also, so you can s read everything, translate everything in English and then give exam in English. That right? level of German is required only to attend the lectures, like you just need to understand the professors what they tell during the lectures. Got it, got it. Here in the state of Baden-Württemberg, there is some uh, fees which you need to pay, yeah. even if you are studying in a public, public, university. public university. How much is that? And the tuition fees for this uh, university is 1,500 euros plus uh, some student and work fees that comes up to sums up to like 1,650 euros per semester. One 1,650 euro per semester means multiplied by four, whatever that comes. Exactly, yes. And if you finish in two years. If you finish in two years. <laughs> Otherwise, if you extend one more semester, then you pay 1,650 exactly. again. Exactly. Got it, got it. Again, this is not something that this university is charging for this course. Baden-Württemberg State has implemented this law from 2017. So that's all what we have for you guys. Um, I hope that, uh, yeah, whichever help you need, please reach out to university directly, the administration. They are the right person to answer specific questions what you have. Okay, nobody else. Do not rely on anyone. Uh, they are the right one. That's the only source which you should trust. Okay. That's all what we have and if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.